Hey, what is up, everybody? Happy Friday. It is July 30th, and we are wrapping up the work week uh, with some uh, good old morning mints. I am here in Virginia. Uh, I'm ready to get into the news. I got my coffee. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter. Um, I'm going to try to keep it in like the 15 to 20 minute range. So let's jump into it. I'm going to move a little bit faster. Um, and yeah, I think I've just got a little bit of feedback on going either too slow or taking too much time. Uh, so we're going to break this video up into two different kinds of videos going on from now on where I'm going to do like a questions video, like an AMA kind of thing. Um, and then we'll do the uh, kind of like news and market cap uh, video that is the morning mint. Um, so jumping right into things, if you haven't, go give uh, the video I did with Frenchie a view. Um, it's really good, tons of alpha in there and a lot of uh, lessons to learn, not only in the NFT space, but in the collectible space overall. Um, so stoner cats, I mean, if you ever wanted to see a train wreck in slow motion happen over several days, um, and for like another train to like, just come behind that train and, you know, cause a second train wreck, it is stoner cats. Um, you know, I think the project has potential. I watched the first episode, um, and you know what? I, I thought it was kind of funny. I laughed. I found it entertaining. I, I thought the production value could have been a little bit higher. Um, but I like the premise. So good job, I guess, on the execution of that first episode. Um, but after, you know, all of the issues that they've had, uh, they just keep dropping the ball. Um, Frederick here uh, gives an amazing thread, like an amazing, amazing thread um, on his breakdown of the Stern Cats contract um, and all the fails. Uh, I'll quickly kind of go through everything wrapped up into a list here, all the delays that they had. Uh, over $800,000 lost in gas. Um, they claimed to be revolutionizing the space. They had endorsers that were celebrities that never showed up on the Discord, so it felt like a money grab. Um, they took the code. The code is actually from Crypto Poop. It's the same developers from Crypto Poop. There were no audits. There was no testing. Um, everything was done after the fact. And they actually were quoted as saying, we couldn't get funding, so we did the NFT. Um, it just, there are a lot of things that make you go, huh, with this project. Um, so, you know, with that said, give this thread a read. Stoner Cats is just one of those projects everybody needs to step back and take a lesson from and why it's so important to address like issues with the community head on, own it up and and try to be a player um, and not just dodge the, you know, your responsibility. Economist is writing up an opinion piece on Stoner Cats TV. Give them some quotes, give them some love. Uh, I think, you know, I think I think there's going to be a lot of people with hot takes on this. Um, I think it just purely comes down to, you know, you as a project, if you mess up, own it. And if you have a community that's upset, address them. Uh, and if you have a community, uh, you should be doing everything to make them happy. That's just the way it works. Um, but in better news, much better news. Um, so. The currency by Damien Hurst is now, uh, you know, being distributed to everybody. I just got my email this morning that I'm, uh, I've received the digital version. The marketplace is currently sitting just around fifty five hundred dollars, uh, which is like, uh, what are we at? It's just over two ETH. Um, so you know, we're looking at two X. I think at this price, it's highway robbery. Um, it's good steal. There's obviously ones that are uh, very expensive. We've seen some go for like 6,000. Uh, I saw like, I think it's 7,500 go. I saw $15,000 one sell. Um, so you know what? Keep an eye out on, on this marketplace. I don't know what's gonna happen. I talked about that split from Henny to OpenSea. What happens when this transfer starts going on? Uh, where's gonna be the best place? For right now, it is obviously Henny uh, where, where all the eyes are. So keep an eye out on that as we go forward. Um, to get to the marketplace, you need to go to the site, uh, click like claim or um, you know view. It'll send you the email. You type in your verification uh, and then you can uh, get to the marketplace, sell and my NFTs. Uh, Henny, again, just executing at, at the top tier with this project. Uh, I have no complaints so far. I'm very happy. Um, in other news, Fortune releasing the Nifty, the NFTY, uh, Nifty 
50, the nifty 50. A lot of controversy in the community over whether, uh, you know, this is a good representation of influencers and who's doing the most in the community. Um, You know, I think some of these are absolute slam dunks, like X copy is for sure, B pool is for sure, um, people pleaser, uh, you know, Jimmy being on here, Pranksy, G Money, uh, Art Chick. I think there was some controversy around Archic and whether or not she was on the list. And, you know, of course there's going to be. It's, that's her. Uh, that's what she does. But I'm glad to see her on there. Um, Gary V, 100% should be on here. Pac, uh, you know, is is this the best representation? Um, maybe from the NFT heavy users, uh, people might have disagreements. Uh, Jimmy kind of saying, you know, Pranksy, shouting out and saying that they weren't sure if some of the inclusions were the most genuine names in the space. There were certainly names that I was hoping to see on there. I don't think we saw like DC investor on there. Uh, if he was sorry, but like he should be in on there. Um, so, you know, there's, there's better, I think ways that the community can, can represent, um, you know, this and other, other ways. I know, uh, there's been some questions. I, I, I'm on the fence. I think some of them are fair. Some of them are like, I don't agree. They're just, you know, very, uh, very out there celebrities, but you know, punk charts being the better representation of, I think what the core heavy user community agrees is like, here's the, here's the top 50 or the top charts. Um, however, if you guys didn't know, Punk charts is over. Uh, they're now moving to NFT charts. If you haven't, give them a follow. It's going to be a monthly billboard uh, celebrating the people, the teams, the projects uh, that deserve to be recognized. Uh, so, you know, I'm excited to see this. You don't have to have a punk anymore. It could be anything um, that is, you know, within the NFT space. I think this gives a better highlight to what is happening uh, with the real people touching real NFTs. Nifty Table, who is Nifty? If you're lis- listening or watching, I love you. You're you're just the goat. Um, I, I've gotten the chance to talk to him in person, and I, I love his vision. I love his attitude and charisma. Um, putting out once again an absolute banger of a thread, uh, going over a common wisdom in the NFT art community is that minting too many pieces can lower the value of an artist's work because scarcity drives prices. This week, I crunched the data to find out if it was true. Um, this is this is a thread worth a read. If you're an artist or even if you're a buyer, understanding, um, you know, is is this claim true? I'll I'm gonna just let people you know read through this because there's just so much um, there's just so much like effort put into this. He doesn't do things half-assed. They he takes the time to apply uh, you know to all the the data um, and basically look at, you know, average sales per week versus mints per week uh, and and see what that means. So, you know, if we look at, at our average sales per week versus mints per week, um, you know, obviously the, the sales in the dollar range for, for the mints is going to be, be higher as we go up the scale. Um, So, there's there's an interesting analysis on this. I would I'd be interested to hear people's thoughts. Uh, but thank you, Nifty, for taking the time to do that analysis. Looking at Larva Labs, Larva Labs is having a week now um, on the crypto punks. We did see one elephant uh, sell for the me bits, but as far as punks go, we saw Steve Aoki pick up a purple uh, hair VR. Congrats to Steve. Uh, Sixty five Ethereum sale. Um, you know, big king moves there. Uh, the crypto punk floor, as of what this was, uh, as of last night, about 12 hours ago, seen almost at 23 ETH. Um, you know, it just the sales bot has just been pinging off all day, and Comfy Devil hitting the nail on the head, saying the sales bot pinging today like a Las Vegas slot machine. Um, we like the punks. I think I think it's clear punks are are not dead. We saw a bid of twelve hundred fifty five ETH for this ape, uh, which is just over three million dollars. Um, we saw a sale of a zombie for four hundred fifty ETH, which is just over one million dollars. A great purchase. Um, we saw 
uh, you know, in other nudes here, I thought I thought we had more punks, but apparently not. Um, when we get to the uh, the end of the video, we'll go over some more punks. But um, as far as fractionalization goes, I talked with this with Ethy about block packs, and I've talked about this um, with Dee's and Andy. But you know, the epicness of what fractionalization is doing is just awesome. It cannot be understated. Diamond Hands NFT, uh, who is just an awesome person as well, fractionalizing their Fidenza, one of the coolest Fidenzas uh, out there. Really excited to see this happen on fractional.art. Um, if this is, you know, if you want to pick up a Fidenza, fractional is kind of the way to go at this point um, if you don't have the ETH. But very exciting to see that happening uh, for Diamond Hands and for a fractional. Um, and then in some other news that just for, you know, the, the common good of the people, uh, an update from spaces coming out. I know everybody here, uh, is an avid fan of spaces, uh, them making some updates to being able to tweet, uh, from the, uh, spaces, uh, bar and basically share that spaces a little bit easier. Um, they're making it easier to find spaces of interest. They're making uh, guest management easier. Um, and they've increased reliability. They've squished a lot of bugs, apparently, which a uh, big round of applause. And you know what? Twitter and Spaces just continue to make me happy. Like, even even though we had issues for a while, they're addressing things that are listening to the community. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, we like Twitter. We like Spaces. We like the tech when it works. Uh, I'm along Twitter. So let's go, baby. Um as far as top NFTs go, looking at the market, um, yeah, I, the market is in this kind of like decision position right now where with ETH making, you know, kind of moves, um, certain projects having announcements that come out, like Board Ape Yacht Club is just having a doozy. Um, we're back in the fives right now. I think I saw sales going for four ETH. Um, three days ago, that would have been madness. Like who would sell an ape for four ETH? Um, as far as the rest of the market, you know, everything else seems to be kind of holding, uh, where we're at no crazy moves, except for the two that I'll note here being board ape kennel club, dropping under one Ethereum on the floor and wicked craniums dropping under almost a 0.2 on the floor down from a 0.4 Ethereum floor after that airdrop. Um, I'm still thinking that this project has lots to come. Uh, so we'll keep an eye there. World of Women down to 0.05. Uh, cool Cats sitting at 0.6. So kind of where we saw yesterday. Knee Bits where we saw yesterday at 1.4. Um, Pegs still sitting at 14. Punks Comics. So, I mean, nothing's really changed here except for some of these projects that had those announcements or had those airdrops and people are getting out. Um, if you have a project that is doing an airdrop like we've seen, uh, you know, we expect that run up. We expect that pricing premium. If you bought a Wicked Cranium at 0.4 off the floor yesterday, I could have told you that there's going to be a pullback after that airdrop hits and is confirmed as people are looking for the free the free money. Um, and I'm sure if we look at the, the stallions for the the airdrop there it's probably going to be around 0.2 for people who are trying to make up that difference on the floor purchase to the flip um one thing to note is that the uh, twin flames floor has dropped to 27 um interesting we'll have to keep an eye on that is is the kind of run up there done not sure um but definitely worth keeping an eye on deadhead still sitting flat Fame Lady Squad still sitting flat at 0 0.07. We're down still. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing too crazy going on. Um, we'll just take a look at a couple projects. Um, our blocks curated, uh, seeing a bunch of activity as usual every morning. Um, seeing a Fidenza sale for 13. Uh, seeing some Century sales as usual, Chromey Squiggle sales. Um, the, the real kind of conversation, I think the last 48 hours around our blocks has been uh, Chromey Squiggles, Fidenza as usual, Centuries, and then uh, Crypto Blots. Um, I'm a big fan of Crypto Blots. I think I've said this a couple times just because uh, I like Daim. And you know what? I, I still wish I could pick one up. Uh, 
going forward here. Um, but yeah, yeah, it looks like Crypto Blots is actually getting a lot of purchasing um, from from people. So I'm glad to see that happening. Do, does seem like to be the one of those projects that uh, has not been purchased as much. Uh, Stoner Cats, as I mentioned, I watched Stoner Cats. I I enjoyed uh, watching. It wasn't horrible. Um, the average price currently at 1.3, but the floor is at 0.5. So I'm guessing we saw a huge sale come through uh, yesterday. Um, so yeah, everything's kind of sitting at the floor. People are starting to sell for a loss right now um, based on average mint cost because mint cost uh, was probably around 0 .5, 0 0.5 after gas. Um, we did see a six Ethereum sale roll in here from Nate Rivers. Congrats to Nate. Um, another six ETH sale here. Uh, holy shiza. There's a 42.69 Ethereum sale for number 3344. Um, that is, I mean, I, I'm shook by this. Really am shook. Um, this seems just wild. I'd be curious to know. Um, you know what the the bet behind this is does this series go uh to to if this if this series were to go to like a rick and morty level where it became like an animated series and got on tv i can see this playing out um i just think there's a lot of bumps in the road that need to be addressed still uh before a 42 ethereum purchase gets played out here um but congrats to whoever made that purchase i hope it works out for you uh, the Vogu, the Vogu Collective being one of the high quality projects that everybody seems to want to get into still, uh, floor still kind of where we saw yesterday, still seeing premium sales come through stray bits, picking up a piece, uh, which is, you know, a bullish signal in my book. Um, Benjamin looks like picking up some pieces, another bullish signal in my book. Um, yeah, I mean, I like what I see on the activity uh, ticker here, and I like the pricing. I like the number of sales. Um, it looks good. The volume obviously down over the last uh, 72 hours since since releasing, uh, you know, that second phase there. I'm I'm thinking we see volume stay low, and people uh, we're in this churning space where things are just kind of being decided by the community. Um, board API club, like I said, the floor being low, uh, down to 5.45. Um, I did say we saw some four ETH sales roll through, uh, as people seem to be just trying to jump out. I think that's the wrong move. Uh, I think what we see here is, um, a slight decrease. We might come back to like an average sale price of five. Uh, we'll kind of sit around there. We might see some like three and four ETH sales. Um, and then we'll slowly start rising up and then we'll have some sort of announcement that I think sends us much higher. Um, you know, you got to play the long term game, be bullish. This is a project that's not going anywhere, in my opinion. Uh, it will be a, a project that just lives on. It'll be a 2021. You know, this is the modern day punks kind of project. Um, still seeing some high sales 15 here. I think as the prices come down, some of these premium prices, people that are were hoping to to cash out or maybe want to put money other places are going to be lowering prices. So if you have 15 ETH, uh, it might not be a bad idea to throw out a bid on like a dream, a dream ape right now. Um, so yeah, actually seeing a lot of premium sales happening and I'm sure that's exactly what's um, going on. Uh, I just want to see if that hunch is correct here. Um, I'm trying to see if this was listed. So it looks like this was a bid. Somebody made a bid and it was accepted. Uh, so that was correct. And then this was the same thing. Uh, I believe this one was purchased, however. Okay. Um, so yeah, apes, apes definitely still not dead. Uh, but we're seeing that floor kind of collapse and obviously the floor is where we're seeing most of those flippers. Uh, play out right now. Uh, v friends activity seeing uh, a huge, huge, huge 18 ETH sale on a FaceTime flea. Um, that's the first FaceTime flea I've seen go for sale in a while. Uh, a lot of profound 
possums. Interesting. Profound possums just lighting up three in a row 10 hours ago. We've seen this happen like three of the same pieces or three of the same rarities just go bang, bang, bang. I'm curious to why this is. It might be because of something said in their Discord. A hangout, uh, hangout hawk going for sale at 13. Um, definitely looks like the volume uh, is good still on V Friends. Over almost 8,000 ETH over the last 90 days. Um, Board Ape Kennel Club dying off a bit here. Um, you know, volume just dropping almost to nothing at this point. Only 14 sales and average price almost at one. Um, yeah, I think if, at this point, if you have one, just hold. Don't don't sell right now. If you need the ETH, you can sell. Go for it. But I think if you if you have the ability to just hold this, um, it it could play out much better for you because we just don't know what's coming. Um, so so hold. That's my opinion at this point. Don't don't sell on a decline. Don't try to catch a you know, falling knife, you're just going to hurt yourself. Wait, wait for the market to come back on those. Um, Wicked craniums, obviously all the way up uh, to an average price yesterday. I think it was like, it should be like 0.5. Yeah. So 0.44 um, and then 0.35. What we saw was that airdrop happen uh, for the stallions. I think the floor was at 0.4 at one point. Um, and now people just getting out of those positions, trying to get money. Um, and then just trying to churn on the floor. Obviously, that was going to happen. Cool Cats uh, looks like the same thing as the, the last few days. And nothing really uh, fascinating happening here. I do see some premium pieces going for lower and lower prices. Um, this might be an example of like the dogs. Like we're not seeing anything too crazy happening here. Wait for an announcement. Wait for some hype to come back if you're looking to sell. Um, in, the, you know, in other words, just hold. You got to hold and wait for uh, stuff to happen here. It's a long-term hold play. Um, and then MeBit's currently sitting at uh, about a 1.4 ETH floor. Still seeing some high bids come through, 19s, 11s. Um, uh, pigs still selling in the 6s, the 7s, the 8s, eight, 8 range. Um, yeah, we're getting into territory of speculative buying on, on, on me bits where if something were to come back, you can double your money, um, in my opinion, or if there was an announcement. So, uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, low bids seem to be being accepted for people who just want to get out and are scared. The floor gonna, is going to go lower. Um, punks comics sitting at 0 0.9. I'm curious if we've seen any, uh, premium sales roll through, through for a minute, uh, low mint prices, uh, pieces, not seen any of that so it's just uh churning at the floor people just wanting to get into the project nobody making bets on low mint prices that might make me actually bullish on low mint low mint numbers um not low mint prices um so the low mint numbers actually might be might be a good play here i'm rethinking my uh my strategy so Larva Labs, uh, looking at their recent sales, the floor is at, um, we'll look at the floor in a second, but over the last, I think it was like over the last 24 hours, as far as bids and sales were, were well over the $5 million mark. Um, it might've even been close to closer to 10 million. Um, it, it was just an absolute madman kind of day. Um, we saw everything from purple hairs to VRs to big glasses, bandanas, 3D. Um, we saw two zombie sales, one both for 450. Um, we saw a top hat for 65 ETH. We saw a silver chain uh, for 27 ETH. We saw, uh, I mean, we just saw everything. Pretty much everything sold except an alien and an ape yesterday. Um, if you didn't know, there are no apes for sale. Um, and I think the buy wall is currently at 2 million on that. Um, so everybody has bids out on apes, uh, but just nobody's selling. The the, sta the state of punks is just that they are here to stay. They're not going anywhere. We like the punks. Um, I'm getting a little bit of uh, FOMO right now on where to deploy ETH. I think punks are going to quickly uh, get out of reach for me here. And for most people, but keep an eye on them. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens uh, going forward. As far as where the floor is, real quick, we'll take a look. 
Um, the floor is currently almost at 23 or at 22.98 ETH. Um, and it looks like there's probably about 30 that need to get sold to move that floor up. So we'll likely see that floor uh, creep towards 25 over the weekend. Um, I mean, this has been, this at this point, the punks have been picked through hard. Um, it looks like we're starting to see some different type of money come into the space um, and, and pick these up. I'm certainly hearing conversations uh, from, you know, financial and institutional money, uh, institutional money uh, get into the space. So it is, it is certainly exciting for, for anybody who's a, a punks holder. Um, and then for anybody who's in the NFT space, it's exciting to see this happen with one of the most iconic projects that we have. Um, with that said, that is today's show. I hope I kept it a little bit shorter. I, I think I was speaking a little bit too fast. Uh, but just trying to, trying to, uh, make a few changes to it. Um, if you have any feedback, let me know. And with that said, enjoy your weekends. Uh, I think I'll try to put out a video or two over the weekend. Um, if not, I'll catch you guys on Monday, uh, and have a good one.